Let me show you how to create markers in Premiere Pro at the beats of your music quickly with automation blocks. These markers allow you to place your cuts in sync with the music easily. But before we start, I have to tell you that automation blocks is not the best tool for this job. If you need to create beat markers frequently, I highly recommend to check out our tool BeatEdit, which performs this task fully automatically and with the highest precision. So head over to ascripts.com and download BeatEdit now. Oh, you're, you're still here. Okay, then um, if you really want to use automation blocks for this, you have to first ask yourself if you already know the BPM of your song. When you buy stock music, for example, the BPM or beats per minute are sometimes listed on the product page. If you know the BPM, choose the tool Beat Marker Create from BPM. Then enter the BPM here and set the in and out point of the sequence to the area for which you want to create beat markers. Finally, place the playhead exactly on a beat. For many songs you can see the beats as peaks in the waveform, for others you have to trust your ear. If you now run the tool, it will fill the entire in-out range with beat markers, such that one marker is placed exactly at the current time indicator and the others have exactly the distance given by the BPM, so 80 markers per minute, for example, for a BPM of 80. If you don't know the BPM of the song, you can use the tool Beat Marker Continue from Samples. Here, you first have to play back the song and start setting beat markers manually. Just hit the M key on every beat. Now, the cool thing about this tool is that you don't have to do this for the entire song. Just do it with a few beats and make sure to get the first and last one of them as accurately as possible. Now run the tool and it will fill the entire in-out range with evenly spaced markers based on your samples. The location of your sample markers will also be updated such that they all have exactly the same distance. After creating the markers you might also want to give them meaningful colors with the tools in the section Marker Color, which we explain in a separate tutorial. Again, keep in mind that Automation Blocks is not really the right tool for this job but if you explore the library, you will notice that it actually is the right tool for a ton of other tasks.